I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Tyree speaks out after going viral for comments made on The Breakfast Club. <laughs> oh, God. I, I have officially lost my mind. Happy Easter, everybody. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm not going to wait on everybody to load into the room because y'all crazy and y'all going to look at this video anyway. First of all, I just want to tell y'all that if you have texted me, if you have DM me, if you have tried to call me, if you have reached out to me after watching the Breakfast Club interview and I have not responded, I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, I think I think the beautiful thing about relationships is that if you actually respect somebody and you love somebody and they hear a song or they watch an interview or they listen to a podcast or they see something that you post about, right? It's like, oh man, somebody in my family just died. Then naturally everybody's going to blow your phone up trying to call you, reach you, talk to you and tech, you know, but it's like, I, I love you, but I cannot have an individual conversation with everybody about everything that you may feel about something that you see, you heard, you watch, or something that in a beautiful way really affected you. So I do want to apologize. Let me turn this special effect off. How do I turn this off? Be oh, sure to like, share, and subscribe. So talk about what it's like to be married and then have your husband to go out here and have a child or two behind your back and you find out about this secret child and you decide to stay committed to your marriage anyway and move forward in your marriage anyway and your life is better because of it everybody on the internet gonna beat you down oh if a nigga ever had a baby behind my back i'd black shut the f up <laughs> y'all got so many opinions about what you would do when that challenge has never showed up to your door. If you lose your mama, you probably yourself. So go ahead and give some people some grace and give them some love and pray for someone who lost their mama even though your mama's still at home. You don't know what it's like to grow up in a house without a father because your father was there. Shut the f up and stop being so insensitive towards everything and everybody and what they're trying to navigate through every single day. They might have a great haircut. They might look sharp as a nail when they get dressed. They might appear to be perfect. The money, sexy women, materialistic possessions, fly, sexy, handsome, curbside appeal. Y'all put these two together, boy. They dress tooth to nail, looking fly as you've ever seen. But does that mean they're actually happy? Because they can put on a good mother outfit and look good together. Y'all out here believing everything. Everything that everybody posts. Put a filter on it. Cut and paste it. You believe it. And then when somebody real like me, real in my opinion, real in all of my friends and family and loved ones' opinion, when somebody real like me shows up with some real shit, it makes you uncomfortable. Because you didn't got so used to fake, pretentious, contrived, false narratives and perceptions. Y'all motherfuckers are in love with the magician who creates the smoke. <sighs> Looks like smoke to me. Must be smoke. Looks like a pig to me. Must be a pig. Looks beautiful to me, it must be beautiful. Y'all can go and get caught up in the baby hairs all you want. I ain't releasing no album called Beautiful Pain because I just felt like f***ing with my ex and singing all these songs about how I feel and how I'm feeling 
about what I lived and experienced because she left me out the blue. She can't say she don't know how I feel about it. Y'all seen all the interviews. You know, the only person that ain't called me to say I'm sorry. Guess all these feelings that you cause don't f***ing matter. I'm not playing, Victor. I'm a grown-ass man. I'll tell you what I said. I'll tell you what I did. Accountability is a mother man. I'm coming up on four years of posting, venting, talking, releasing songs and singles. And ain't nobody called me to say I'm sorry. You know, I didn't even know. I, I did not know I caused that much damage. I had no idea that I, I, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you didn't know, you know now because you didn't heard the goddamn songs and you didn't see the Instagram posts and you didn't see me on Joe Buttons and this and that. I've been talking, venting, uploading, all the above. But guess who ain't called me to say I had no idea. Man, narcissistic sociopath. It's like I even if you're screaming and yelling. You hurt me. You fucking hurt me. They have no way of processing the pain and the trauma that they caused. That's a very dangerous game. That sounds like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like, are you not aware of the damage that you caused? Shit. Let me spell this out for you. When you said this, when you did that, when you treated me like that, when you left me like that, when you this, when you this, when you that, can I call you and tell you about it? And if I call you and I tell you about it, are you going to be able to own and be accountable and actually process the trauma that you caused? She ain't got no way of doing it. But I just got another letter from her lawyers requesting that I send over all of my tax returns and all of my bank statements because she's trying to get 20,000 and I think they're trying to take it up to like 40. And they've been looking at all of my movies and all of the concerts and shows that I've been doing and they're over there like blood sucking lawyers rubbing their hands and Samantha's doing the same thing, rubbing her hands and they're going, Oh shit, you know, for the last year and a half, he looked like he's been doing really well. Let's go ahead and get them bank statements over here so we can figure out a way to get this law firm another $600,000 that we're asking for in legal fees. Okay, so I'm gonna close this out. I just got an email from my attorney and my ex's attorney name is Adam Gleckman. He's the devil. She divorced me four years ago, August 2020. And she makes over $100,000 a year, close to 150, 160 at this point, because all of her Instagram, social media. And he came to court. And they literally said in the courtroom that they've only got $5,000 from Samantha for representing them, for representing her for the last four years. They've asked her to give them $5,000 because she married a celebrity, she, she married a high net worth individual, and they're over there rubbing their hands, banking on a pot of gold. I'm out here stressed the f out. She divorced me, and they're rubbing their hands over there hoping that I do more concerts, shows, movies, so they can go online, look up all the movies that I just booked, and they're trying to get to the bottom of what actual money is in my bank account so that they can put it in their law firm's pockets. This is a dirty fucking game out here, ain't it? It's a dirty, dirty game out here. Well, y'all gonna keep waiting. Y'all pray for me because I am hearing that the appeals court around my case, my case is going to be, my case is being appealed. My divorce case is being appealed and they're going to give me the outcome of my appeal August 25th. August 25th, the verdict and the outcome of my appeals because all of the shit that that judge did all of his rulings were so illegal and so all over the place. They're going to rule 
on everything that we are appealing. And that verdict is coming in on August 25th. Y'all pray for me. I don't want nothing to work in my favor. I just want to do things according to the law. I'm too real for TV. That's why they don't want me on Instagram. That's why they don't want me doing all that I do. There's a benefit to being this real and then it becomes a little counterproductive sometimes. I got it. But guess what? If it all ended tomorrow, they're not going to love me because of the square footage of my house or what's in my bank account. Rather, my jury is real or fake. Who I'm, who I dated, who I married, how cute my kids are. They're going to remember me because I live and I walked in my truth and I put my truth out there. And I was willing to die on, a on behalf of my truth. You can't buy what's not for sale. My soul is not for sale. My sexuality is not for sale. Nothing about your opportunities that you've given or presenting will I ever, ever allow my soul to be compromised on behalf of whatever you offer. I stand firm with the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And until I take my last breath, no time soon, God forbid, you are experiencing the authentic me. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Go to Tyrese.tv. Support my Beautiful Pain album. This album will fail. This album will not be successful if you don't support and show up for my double album, Beautiful Pain. It's going to be at your door. Labor Day weekend, double vinyl, double album, 20 songs, executive produced by David Foster, produced by Brandon Bam Hodge. This album will not be successful. If y'all are exhausted with Lil Tay Tay, Lil JJ, Lil Bay Bay, and Lil May May, y'all got to support real music. Because if you don't, then they're going to keep on supporting that goofy shit. It's going to keep winning the popularity contest. That's going to be your motherfucking fault. Support Beautiful Pain and definitely get ready to go support 1992. It's in theaters the same day as my double album, Beautiful Pain, Friday, August 30th. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Got some other great news for y'all. I'm going to let y'all go because I'm about to go get dressed. I got a lot of interviews to do today. Got some great news, y'all. That's great news, y'all. My song, Wildflower, has officially been added to 54 radio stations. We are the number one most added song in the country. 54 radio stations said yes to Wildflower. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to my mama. I love you. Let her cry. Oh, she's a lady. Let her dream. She is a child, let the rain. Oh yeah, within the next 48 hours, might be dropping that video too. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.